Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a top five or bottom five list or basically like a top ten or a bottom ten list and I'll show you three examples of how you can sort your list to give you that type of effect. So let's say for example we have a bunch of students uh, and then their scores, maybe these are test scores. And the first example is you may just want to just sort the second column by the top score. So if I go ahead and just click in the second column, I can right click and go under sort and go sort from the largest, smallest. Maybe I want to go and see which are the top scores. So maybe this will be a scale from 0 to 100 and 100 being the best score. And let's say we've got our scores here and we can look and filter it out and we can see that uh, we maybe we want seven of the top seven, we can just go ahead and copy and paste that and that would be our top or maybe we just want the top five uh, scores, we could do that. And if we wanted to do the, the bottom scores, we can also right click and go under sort and sort uh, descending from Z to A. Whoops, excuse me. We'll go ahead and right click and go into sort and go from sort smallest to largest and so we'll have our smallest scores uh, come first. So that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it, if you want to kind of add uh, another kind of column, the helper column, to give you an idea of how people sort here, you can add a rank, a rank column. And so let's say we want to rank folks. So we'll use this rank as a header. So we'll go ahead and just uh, uh, copy the same format. Click on Format Painter. It'll copy the same format. Let me just go ahead and just put a border here. Now the rank formula basically is a command. If there's a rank command, as R A N K, and we can use uh, the rank EQ and this will rank the numbers in the list of numbers and you can kind of read that little tool tip and basically all it is going to ask for is two arguments I'm going to go ahead and select this double click to select and the number is the number that I'm going to rank and based off of a list that's the reference so if I put a comma here I'm going to base it off this range of cells this reference and I'm going to have to press the uh, F4 key to lock those cell values in because when I copy it down, I want to have that same range be copied down. This one's going to change when it copies down. Instead of B2, it will be the next row here will be B3, B4, etc. But this would stay the same. If I go and press enter, it's going to put this as a 15th one. This is going to be the 15th rank because as you know from our last example, we did this as a descending rank and that was the 15th, the last one. So let me go ahead and double click this to copy the formula down. You can see now it's one. And we can do the same thing that we did earlier is we can go ahead and sort this. We can go sort from smallest to largest or largest to smallest. Whoops, let me go ahead and I just selected that part there and that's why that error came up. Let me go ahead and just unselect that. Let me go ahead and just right click and go go under sort and go from uh, smallest to largest and so the rank is that one so this is the rank here so uh, if you wanted to kind of look at the description of the rank function you can also go into the uh, insert function command here and it will give you the description of each of the fields and if you click on in the cells here you get the description here so if we made that a non-zero value let's say for example type number one, that's going to rank it in uh, ascending order. Uh, the first, the by default it goes descending. So let me go ahead and click OK. Now it's the 15th number and let me go ahead and double click to send the formula down. So now the lowest value comes first and the highest value is last. That's ranked the, the, the least. So that's the way that you can do it with the rank function. So that's the second example. Now the third example I'm going to use is with a pivot table. So maybe I can just select this range of cells here and go under insert, go to pivot table, and let's put the pivot table within the sheet here to save some room. Let me go and move it over here and bring it over here. I'll select this cell to where this pivot table starts. I'll click OK and go ahead and just put the name into the rows and the score into the values. So now it doesn't really seem like it's doing much because it looks like the same here except it's just sorted this in ascending order based on the name here. But what we can do here is if we go click the drop down here and we go ahead and go under value filters, we can click on a top score. So basically if we wanted to have the top, uh, let's say top five, let me go ahead and click on top five, it's going to filter it for just the top five scores. And then you can also uh, right click here and click on sorting. Now let's go from largest to smallest and it will give us the same values here. So uh, the pivot table is another way that you can 
do a top list or bottom list. It's probably a, a, a good way to do it if you have a lot of data and you want to have this into a, another sheet where you can put it into a, like a dashboard type of a sheet. Also, it gives you the option of changing it instead of having maybe top five, maybe you want to have uh, top three, or maybe you want bottom three, like we did earlier where we had this in uh, descending. So we click OK and this would be our bottom three. And maybe we can also do this sort by the smallest to the largest, or the smallest scores to the largest scores. So that's another way to do it. So uh, if you don't want to write a, a, a function, and you don't have that, want to have a helper column, you don't need to use this. If you don't want to have any of this, you can just do a sort here, right click and go under sort. If you want to get a little fancy and maybe have your data away from uh, your analysis or your presentation, you put this into a, a another tab. And you can have a pivot table to do that. So there's your examples of how you can create a top three or top five or bottom three or bottom five type of list. Uh, three examples that you can use to do that. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.